Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java programming tutorial series. Throughout the tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial will be about installing the Java development kit, specifically Java SE, on Windows 10. Let's go ahead and start by opening up my website, javacjava.com, clicking on Java Tutorials. I've got uh, hundreds of tutorials here, but um, I just split the install JDK up uh, before I had it for Windows 7 and 8.1, but they changed a few things in Windows 10. So I'm going to do it in two parts there. First part will be installing the Java Development Kit on Windows 10, and the second will be configuring it. So let's just go ahead and click here, and basically I've got a link here for the Java Development Kit download page. We'll go ahead and just click on that. And so Java SE is short, is short for Standard Edition. There's basically three different flavors on that. Well, technically four if you consider Java FX, but Java ME is Micro Edition, and you might find that in things like, for example, cell phones, calculators, uh, maybe even a modem or something like that. Uh, Java SE is the most widely used there. Enterprise Edition, which is Java EE, is kind of like built on SE, but it's just uh, got more stuff for like a corporation type thing. So first thing you want to do here is basically uh, you can accept this license agreement right here. You have to select that. And then you want to find your operating system here. So basically for Windows 10, you'll either have Windows x86 or Windows 64. Now if you don't know if you have a 64-bit version of Windows, basically you can find out by coming down here and just typing in like, for example, um, my, uh, this PC, right? So if you, and I typed in my, but we could type in this PC, right? And then you right click on that. Don't start it up, right click on that and go to properties, right? And you can see in here, it says system type, 64 bit operating system and X64 based processor. You don't really care about the processor. You're really concerned with the 64 bit operating system. It was either say 32 bit or 64. Why even say X86? X86 is, uh, is 32 bit down here so that's how you can match that up but I've got 64 bit here so I'm going to go ahead and select that and start the download I'll come up here I'm just going to save this uh, pretty standard stuff here I'm, I've got a 300 megabit uh, internet connection through Comcast here so this will take just a few seconds for this to download all 196 megabytes of this and then we'll go ahead and run it all right let's click on that and I'm going to go ahead and minimize that while this starts up here. There it goes. All right. Uh, this just takes a quick maybe 30 seconds. So we're just going to select next. We're going to go with the development tool source code. Source code is cool because it does come with all the source code here and the public JRE runtime environment. And this will just... Uh, run through just a few things here and then we'll be good to go. It'll ask us just a couple more things on this. We're going to install this to C Programs Java JRE 121. <clears throat> you can either note this or come back to this in a, in a different... In the next video we're going to reference this folder here but for now we'll just go ahead and select next on this. And it'll give us our little installing, tell us that 3 billion devices run Java. And then we'll be pretty much done. Okay, um, successfully installed. Let's go ahead and click on close on that. All right, so that was pretty pretty painless, pretty easy. Uh, now, one thing we want to do is, is we want to go down here and let's just type in uh, CMD for our search on this here. It brings up the command prompt there. And um, at this particular prompt here, I'm just going to type in Java C. Okay? Now, Java C comes up as not a recognized as an internal or external command operable program or batch file. So we have our installation done, we just don't have it configured properly so that we can actually go ahead and issue some commands and run through all my tutorials. So I will be going over that in the next tutorial here on to get that configured properly there. So that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.